While you may have heard that the lineage of the Dukes of Devonshire, otherwise known as the Cavendish family, traces back to Sir John Cavendish, did you know that Cavendish was not the original name of the family, and that the family is in fact a descendant of a Norman knight named Robert de Guénon? I'll show you how this family moved from the name of Guénon to Cavendish after a strategic marriage, and how this union led to the acquisition of several estates and ultimately helping the family gain power and influence in their English monarchy. In this video, we'll cover the origin and history of the Cavendish family from their fortune as Dukes of Devonshire to becoming Prime Ministers and amassing great fortunes in the Chatsworth estate. Is their wealth merely an inheritance? A coincidence? Or is there perhaps more to this than meets the eye? Let's find out. Cavendish is the surname of the Dukes of Devonshire. The family has a rich and extensive historical lineage. It traces its roots to Sir John Cavendish, who held lands in the village of Cavendish in Suffolk during the 14th century. It might interest you to know that despite the name Cavendish, Sir John was originally descended from Robert de Guénon, a Norman knight whose son, also named Robert de Guénon, married the heiress of John Potton of Cavendish. It was this union between Robert de Guénon Jr. and the heiress that led to the acquisition of the Cavendish estates, prompting their four sons to adopt the surname of their inherited estate. John Cavendish also served as Chief Justice of the King's Bench during the reign of Edward III from 1372 to 1381. Unfortunately, his career took a tragic turn when he was implicated in a political conspiracy and subsequently executed in 1381. In June 1381, a group of rebels led by Watt Tyler entered Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk. It was a major uprising in England. Sir John Cavendish was a victim of the revolt. They sought out individuals associated with the royal government, and Sir John Cavendish was among those targeted. He was captured, brought to trial, and subsequently executed in Bury St Edmunds on June 15, 1381. This event marked a tragic chapter in the history of the Cavendish family. Following Sir John Cavendish's execution in 1381, the Cavendish family faced numerous challenges but were not entirely diminished. Later, the family moved out of Suffolk under the guidance of Sir William Cavendish, great-great-grandson of Sir John Cavendish, and they eventually settled in Derbyshire where they continued the family lineage. Derbyshire is one of the significant locations associated with the Cavendish family. It was in Derbyshire that Sir William and his descendants established their prominent seat. It's where Chatsworth House, one of the most renowned assets of the family, is located. In the mid-16th century, Sir William gained great wealth from his position in the Exchequer and also from unfairly taking advantage of the dissolution of the monasteries. He married his third wife, the famous and influential Bess of Hardwick, with whom he had eight children, and this union significantly contributed to the family's wealth and social standing. The construction of Chatsworth House began during this period and continued to evolve. At its completion, the Chatsworth House became a central location for the Cavendish family, evolving into one of the most iconic stately homes in England. The grandeur of its architecture the extensive art collection within its walls, and the beautifully landscaped gardens make it stand out among other buildings in England. Chatsworth House is remarked as a symbol of the family's wealth, cultural contributions, and historical legacy. But while Chatsworth House holds a special place in the family's heritage, it's important to note that the Cavendish family has been involved in various other notable assets, enterprises, and contributions to British society over the years. The family's influence extends beyond Chatsworth House, encompassing political engagement, cultural patronage, and contributions to different sectors. The family's prominence grew under subsequent generations, notably during the Tudor and Stuart periods. One of the notable figures in the Cavendish family is William Cavendish, the fourth Earl of Devonshire. William Cavendish was a strong supporter of William of Orange, William III, in his opposition against James II during the Glorious Revolution in 1688. 
and in recognition of his allegiance and contributions, William Cavendish was granted the title of Duke of Devonshire in 1694. The prominent Whig politician held significant political roles, such as Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, and briefly served as Prime Minister of England from November 1756 to May 1757. This elevation in status may have played a role in the family's history, hence solidifying their position among the aristocracy. In 1748, the Duke entered into marriage with Lady Charlotte Boyle, the only surviving daughter and heiress of the esteemed architect and connoisseur, the third Earl of Burlington, and Lady Dorothy Saville. This union brought new estates into the Cavendish family's possession including Lismore Castle in County Waterford, Ireland, Lundersborough Hall and Bolton Abbey in Yorkshire, and Burlington House and Cheswick House in London. The inheritance encompassed Lord Burlington's entire collection of architectural books, drawings, numerous paintings, and the contents of his residences. At Chatsworth, the fourth Duke implemented changes to the park and garden, opting for a westward approach to the house, he dismantled the old stables and offices that disrupted the view and cleared the cottages of Ettenser village. Throughout the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, the Cavendish family has maintained a position of significance within British society. In more recent times, Peregrine Cavendish, the 12th Duke of Devonshire, is the leader of the contemporary family. As the only surviving son of Andrew Cavendish, the 11th Duke of Devonshire, and Deborah Mitford, Peregrine Cavendish assumed the title of Duke after his father's passing on May 3, 2004. Prior to becoming the Duke, he held the titles of Earl of Burlington from 1944 to 1950 and Marquess of Hartington from 1950 to 2004. His immediate family, residing at Chatsworth House, owns and manages the estate valued at approximately £905 million. This estate, renowned for its gardens, iconic high jet fountain, brown designed grounds, and a notable fine art collection, attract numerous visitors. The family's seat is Chatsworth House, a Grade 1 listed property in Edensor, near Bakewell, which is owned as part of the Chatsworth estate. According to the estate website, Chatsworth is very much home to the 12th Duke and Duchess who are intensely involved in the day-to-day -day running of the business and upkeep of the house. This area has been the home of the Cavendish family since 1549. In addition to Chatsworth, the family's historical influence is evident in London, where their former grand residence has given way to Devonshire Square, among other developments. The family controls several aspects of wealth, from owning large amounts of land such as Chatsworth House in Derbyshire, and a 30,000-acre Yorkshire estate, to accumulation of other assets and establishment of businesses. The wider Devonshire group makes money from hotels, restaurants, shops, including Peak Valley, holiday lets, farms, visitors, and house building. It puts money into the economy through direct and indirect jobs, apprenticeships, and support for local suppliers. Devonshire Group is more of a collective term for the various enterprises, properties and assets associated with the Dukes of Devonshire. The term is commonly used to encompass the extensive holdings and activities of the Cavendish family, particularly the Dukes of Devonshire, over the centuries. It comprises businesses including heritage attractions, shops, restaurants and luxury accommodation at Chatsworth, Bolton Abbey and in Lismore Castle in Ireland. The estates include tenanted businesses and residential property, a property development business with a pipeline of 2,000 homes, sustainable forestry and farming businesses, and an estate farm shop at Chatsworth. Comprising 35,000 acres, the Chatsworth estate in Derbyshire includes in-hand farms and forestry enterprises, renewable energy initiatives, hospitality businesses, and visitor activities the latter being centred around the Grade 1 listed house and garden. In addition, estate land is leased for a variety of uses, including farming, commercial, residential and recreation. Then there's also the wider estate. This estate includes dozens of tenanted farms and over 450 residential properties. There are five sub-estates, 
separate from the central estate, spread across Derbyshire. The central estate is a compact block of 12,310 acres around Chatsworth House, including the park and many properties of the villages of Baslow, Pillsley, Edenster, Beeley, and Calton Lees. The estate office is at Edenster. It was originally built by the 5th Duke as an elegant red brick inn to cater for an increasing number of well-to-do travellers coming to see Chatsworth. The West Estate is 6,498 acres of scattered high ground, mostly in the Peak District National Park and partly in Staffordshire, approximately 10 miles or 16 kilometers southwest of Chatsworth. The Shottle Estate is 3,519 acres in and around the village of Shottle, which is around 15 miles or 24 kilometers south of Chatsworth. This low-lying land is home to most of the dairy farms on the estate and also has some arable farms. The Staveley Estate is 3,400 acres and is approximately 11 miles or 18 kilometers east of Chatsworth. It includes a 355-acre former industrial site called Staveley Works, woodlands and arable farms. The Scarcliffe Estate, made up of mostly arable farms, is 9,320 acres and lies approximately 14 miles east of Chatsworth. The heritage attraction comprises Chatsworth House, Garden Farmyard and surrounding parkland, which are managed by Chatsworth House Trust, a registered charity dedicated to the long-term preservation of the estate for the benefit of visitors. There are also a range of associated businesses, including hospitality, retail and catering at Chatsworth House. The parkland surrounding Chatsworth House covers approximately 1,000 acres and is open to visitors free of charge all year round, except for the southeast section, known as the Old Park, which is a conservation area and site of special scientific interest. Farmstock also graze in the park, which belongs to either the estate farm, tenant farmers or smallholders. The collections at Chatsworth have grown with each generation of the family that has lived there and include works by some of the most famous artists and sculptors of the last 400 years, including an internationally significant collection of old master drawings. The extensive and rich archives and library at Chatsworth span more than 450 years, from the Elizabethan era to the present day. They document the history of Chatsworth and many of the other properties owned by the Cavendish family past and present, including Hardwick Hall, Bolton Abbey, Devonshire House, Burlington House, Cheswick House, Compton Place, Lundersborough and Lismore Castle, as well as their associated estates. The family also own Lismore Castle Arts, a not-for-profit initiative that was founded in 2005 and is committed to the presentation and promotion of contemporary visual art in Ireland. It hosts exhibitions of international significance alongside a series of smaller exhibitions, projects and events, as well as a comprehensive learning program. Since opening, the gallery has played host to the works of many leading international artists, including Matthew Barney, Gerard Byrne, Dorothy Cross, Josephson, Richard Long, Eva Rothschild, Dan Vo, Ai Weiwei, and TJ Wilcox. The Devonshire Group is also committed to making a positive difference to people's lives by inspiring a love and understanding of art, heritage, and the environment. This is led by the learning and engagement team of the Chatsworth House Trust, who create learning opportunities across the Devonshire Group, enriched by essential qualities of the estates to inspire current and future generations and affect how they live and think about the world around them. Chatsworth is a member of the Association of Leading Visitor Attractions and of the Treasure Houses of England, an association of 10 of the most magnificent palaces, houses and castles in England today. Chatsworth holds a Green Tourism Gold Award and a Peak District Environmental Quality Mark and in 2021, the Chatsworth Farmyard was accredited by the Rare Breed Survival Trust as part of their Rare Breed program. The Chatsworth Settlement Trust has a number of different revenue streams in addition to agricultural rents. Several thousand acres, mostly around Chatsworth and on the Staveley Estate, 
are farmed in hand. A number of properties are let as holiday cottages, including Bess of Hardwick's hunting tower in the park, and several quarries produce limestone and other minerals. The old kitchen garden at Barbrook, at the northern edge of the park, is let to the Caravan Club, who operate a Chatsworth Park Caravan Club site, and a paddock at the southern end of the park at Colton Lees is let to the Blue Diamond Garden and Living Centres Group, where they operate Blue Diamond Chatsworth Garden Centre. There is always something new to see and do in the house, garden, farmyard and adventure playground of the Chatsworth House, and every penny of visitor admission goes directly to the Chatsworth House Trust, a registered charity dedicated to the long-term preservation of Chatsworth House, the collections, garden, woodlands and park for the long-term benefit of the public. Andrew Lavery, Chief Financial Officer at Chatsworth Settlement Trustees, says... As we move forward as a group, we anticipate that our economic impact will grow as a result of us making progress in four key areas. The natural growth of our own businesses and operations, continuing to make our land and buildings available to existing and prospective tenants to enable their businesses to grow and flourish by converting days to stays and a continued focus on local sourcing. Over the centuries, the Cavendish family have continued to be influential both politically and economically. They are famous for their connections to the aristocracy, contributions to political events, and the accumulation of substantial wealth. The family's legacy extends to the present day, with the Cavendish name often associated with historical estates such as the Chatsworth House, as well as ongoing contributions to various fields. Watch another fascinating history of another prominent family by clicking the next button, which will be displayed on your screen now.